First up, it's round eight and you don't have a tight end yet. Who do you have your sights set on? So at this stage, uh, one of my favorite targets has become Pat Frymuth, a guy I faded last year. I hated the idea of rookie quarterback, Kenny Pickett, Deontay Johnson, and George Pickens in the offense. I, I didn't see how Frymuth would deliver. And you know what? He didn't quite deliver because he only scored two touchdowns, as expected. Bad offense. But I was wrong in terms of the target earning profile. As a rookie, he had seven touchdowns, and he didn't command targets. But last year, he only had two touchdowns, but he actually commanded a lot of targets. And I was like, oh, that's pretty impressive. He's now on my radar. I don't think he'll score two touchdowns again this next year. The Steelers' offense should be a lot better. You and I have both written quite extensively about how the offensive line will be better. Kenny Pickett's going to take a step forward in year two. Najee sure, Harris yeah. will be healthier. A lot yeah. going right for this team. And if we look last year at yards per out run, Pat Fryermuth was much higher than both Deontay Johnson and George Pickens. If you look at targets per route run, Deontay Johnson and Pat Fryermuth were the clear top two. And then 50% lower was George Pickens. It's hard to find a tight end that late who's the clear number two on his offense for targets is used in the red zone. He actually had more red zone targets last year than George Pickens, believe it or not. I, I think Pat Fryermuth is pretty in line to finish as like the, the tight end five or six in fantasy, giving you just enough fantasy points that he actually makes a difference for your team each week. Agreed on Fryermuth. I've always been a Fryermuth guy. This is actually one of my preferred ways to draft a team. I like waiting on tight end. In that scenario, Fryermuth's my target, top target too. Two other targets you have in this general range that I'm aligned with you on too. Tyler Higby, especially in PPR leagues. I think he has a very strong floor. And as long as Matthew Stafford's the Rams quarterback, He's capable of, you know, slate breaking upside on occasion too. The other guy that I think is very interesting, and you know, you have him as a target in your on your cheat sheet, Dalton Kincaid with Buffalo. I think this is going to work a little bit more like wide receivers do than tight ends, where you like taking wide receivers because they peak late when you know money making season in fantasy happens. I could see that being the case for Dalton Kincaid. I'm not crazy overweight on him in best ball, but in the season long league, I would love to be able to pair Higby and Kincaid in a lot of scenarios catch more of the conversation only on the 33rd team podcast network wherever you get your podcasts